Good morning from the capital of Australia. Capital? <laughs> oh, bird. Yesterday we picked up a car and we drove ourselves all the way from Sydney through the Blue Mountains and here. Originally we didn't actually want to come all the way here, we wanted to find a hotel to stop in along the way, but it was a Saturday and every small country town was fully booked. There's nothing in this whole town. Stop number one in town number two. They are all booked as well. It was nuts, we were in this tiny town and they just happened to have a wedding that day, so everywhere was booked out. And then the next town was a bit bigger, but again, everywhere had all their booked. no vacancy signs lit up. It was so frustrating. We were really hoping for the like quintessential Australian pub that has a couple of rooms up top, but oh well. We still got a pub meal. Yeah, that's true. And now we're in Canberra. Unfortunately, I think Canberra has like this reputation to the rest of Australians as like, we like to rag on it a little bit. A bit of Canberra bashing's quite fun. <laughs> There's a not a lot going on here kind of sentiment. Yeah, I don't know what it is. We like to make fun of Canberra and we also like to point out that Perth is like another country. Like they're so far away, they're basically another country. The distance from Canberra to Perth is the same as from England to Egypt. Which is crazy. We're from Adelaide, which also people oh, yeah. <laughs> like to we make fun it. of. <laughs> So we understand it. We get it, Canberra. But we're here to formulate our own opinion. Mm -hmm. And so far, what a glorious sunny day. It is chilly, but it is nice and sunny. This is our perfect weather. It's like jumper weather, Yeah. but not many clouds. Really sunny. And we've come down to, I don't even know what this is, but it's a really cool lake. It feels like a really manicured apartment complex. Yeah. Like the way they have the barbecue area set out and stuff. There's people rowing. Everyone's running. My arm's getting really sore though. You gotta go do some workout on that thing. What are you doing today? Get strong arms. I don't know. There's this sandwich shop I really wanna try out <laughs> that I've heard about. Today we're gonna try and make the most of the day. We're going to a market, hopefully, a sandwich shop. We're gonna check out Parliament. Oh, even more people rolling. Yeah. Just see what Canberra has to offer. Make our own opinion. Yeah, let's walk this way. First impressions, really first initial impressions, love Canberra. I'm already having the best day. It's just the perfect weather. Everyone's really nice. Like there was someone had lost their phone and a couple had found it and they're walking around to every single person being like, have you lost your phone? Hope the rest of it's the same and we're not going to be like, oh, later yeah. on. <laughs> I'm still nervous because I feel like if the all of Australia bashes Canberra, <laughs> maybe there's a reason, but so far, loving it. Loving it. This is such a cool place as well. Like. It's Sunday morning, so I think it's maybe a bit quiet, but starting your day here with a walk with your friends, a cup of coffee. Be great. It's so nice. We are lucky enough to still have our dollar a day car rental, so we can literally jump in and drive wherever we want to go to, which gives us so much flexibility. And it's a Sunday, so fingers crossed every other part continues to be like this one <laughs> where we don't have to pay. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's so fit and healthy yeah. here. We said yesterday we we're going to talk about the dollar a day car rental we got. It's pretty awesome and it's something that I can see us doing while we're in Australia for the next few months. Probably more than once. We're choosing to be home a lot more next year for a bunch of weddings we're in. We're trying to find all of the best Australia adventures that we want to tick off and just like continue to be tourists in our own country because it's really, really fun. We had no idea that you could rent a car for a dollar. No. At all. And a camper van for a dollar a day or five dollars a day or something. Let's go get a coffee. Puppy. This is not sponsored, this is not paid in any way, it's more of a public service announcement. This car that we're renting, that we're driving from Sydney to Canberra, is only costing us a dollar a day. Big companies that have their cars in the wrong place, or they need to move stock to a different city, instead of paying employees to move the car from one city to another, they offer it to normal people like us for a dollar a day or less, and we move it for them. So all we have to pay for is fuel. But there are some cases where you even get a fuel voucher too. So we're gonna be doing a lot more of car rentals and camper van rentals as long as they're one-way relocations because you save so much money. Again, not sponsored. I just think people should know about this because we never did, but now we do. The one that we really, really want to do is like relocating a camper van to Hobart and a lot of them get the ferry included as well for the camper van and for the driver. So we're keeping our eyes out for that and hopefully that will be one of our mini Australian adventures that we get to take on. Tasmania! Woo! I love Tasmania so much. I think it's one of my favorite spots of Australia, but I need a coffee. 
quite enjoyed being the driver. I normally really like being passenger princess and Jordan just having to deal with me. <laughs> but now I've turned the tables and even though I'm driving, I still get to be the princess. You get to put my music on, <laughs> give me treats. I guess like go towards Parliament and hope there's a coffee cafe open around there. If you look at a map of Canberra, it doesn't look like any other city that we've ever been to. Instead of using squares and grids, it's all circles. No, you one too early. Damn! I like that it's a Sunday because I'm not having to deal with classic city traffic. Because this would be kind of intense. Not as intense as Sydney though, that was nuts. For the travel bugs among you, we think Canberra is kind of the combination of Vancouver in Canada and Washington DC in the US, like combined, but a lot smaller and no mountains surrounding it. So less scenic, but pretty similar. It's got the same vibe too. Yeah, I will say the DC comparison is just because like parliament. parliament. <laughs> Yeah, but I think with that comes the really well manicured lawns and like there's an, a, a parliament aesthetic throughout the city, not just the buildings. Let's go make a law! Where's Kevin 07? <laughs> Weekends in Canberra! Yeah, baby! Push these meds, Liz Ice. Reversing cameras are the best. I hope we're allowed to film here. This is so cool. I don't see why we wouldn't be allowed to film here, but... It's like a lake. You can't film in airports. Maybe they're, they're funny. In the air. Yeah. So our emblem, like coat of arms here in Australia is an emu and a kangaroo. Both because they're native only to Australia. Pretty short for that. <laughs> I feel like an emu might be other places. I'm almost certain. But the other reason is both of those animals physically can't walk backwards. It's to represent Australia only moves forwards. Again, I can't 100% confirm <laughs> that emus can't walk backwards. <laughs> That's something I... It's like, oh, remember yeah. you hear in school, like, dogs can't look up. And it's Cows like... Cows can't walk downstairs. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. It might just be one of those things. I don't know. <laughs> Parliament House. Both new parliament and old parliament connected by a sneeze. <laughs> connected by a long strip of super green grass. We've got a really modern parliament. It's a super interestingly designed piece of architecture. Trying to find the symbolism of the parliament house and I found a bit more about I found out a bit more about Canberra itself. Apparently back in the early 1900s when Sydney and Melbourne were massive and growing quickly they wanted to make a capital of Australia between the two cities and a design award was won by an American guy who planned the whole thing from scratch. So apparently this whole city is laid out like to bend topographically with the mountains around it and it was meant to be designed as like a city of the future. I kind of get that. Guy likes circles. There's one thing I didn't expect from today, a bunch of bunnies. There's huge ones and there's also these like really small ones, but I've never seen so many so close together <laughs> and just kind of hanging out of parliament. Where else would you hang out? I love them. I like when you, they get a little bit scared and they hop away and you can just see their tail go. <laughs> can we please get a coffee now? People in Canberra are really, really nice. And we walked into this cafe and every single person working there was like, hello, how are you? And like, so genuine as well. I really, really like it. Great first impression, Canberra. We were gonna go to the Cupping Room, which is an incredibly popular cafe here. But because it's Sunday and it's incredibly popular, it was basically full. So we've come down the road to Roy Joint. Roy Joint. 
Roy Jr. And everyone's really, really nice. It's quite expensive, but I'm quite tired. The jet lag's still slightly there. Jordan was up at 5 a.m., I think, this morning. 4. 4 a.m., oh no. I was up at 6, which isn't too bad. Australian coffee. It's expensive but really nice. <laughs> I needed this. I think it's hard, it's gonna be hard not to spend all of our money in Australia just getting coffees out because they are so good. Australian coffee is next level. It's so good. If you're in Canberra and the goal is to go to, what is it, cupping? Cupping, down the road. Roy Jr. coffees, they look good, they taste amazing, they are elite and they're not any more expensive than the other place. Just realized the sandwich shop I really wanted to go to for lunch is closed. So maybe at the market will we be able to get food? Is it a food market or like a clothes? I guess we'll find out next. <laughs> Once a week, Canberra has a massive market, like an indoor market at an old bus depot. And everything online says this is the market that you have to come to if you're coming to any market in Canberra. So we are here. I have no idea what sort of market it is. Antiques, clothing, food, it could be anything. Sanducci, the place we really, really wanted to go for lunch is shut on Sunday. So I'm hoping there's at least some food in here and we can get a little snack. Yeah. That'd be nice. I really liked that market. It was very eclectic, very Australian, a little bit sparse. Yeah, first impressions quite sparse, looked like a big warehouse, but the more you walked around and the more stuff you actually saw, pretty quality. It was just like all handmade mm. Australian things. I don't know, I really liked it. You know how we were like, does it have food or antiques or clothes? It has everything, all of them. And so much food that I think we could recreate some of our best food tours. There's like burek that we had in Serbia. There was profiges, like little Dutch pancakes. Bagels like we had in bagel style in Lithuania. Like all sorts of different foods. We could have done a food tour down memory lane. Yeah. But instead we remembered what What the, country we're in. What country we're in and what the goal of this road trip was. And that was to have a little slice of Australia. Also, like 20 meters down the road, look at this. Look at this spot we have. Does that not look beautiful? It is a chunky beef and potato pie. Potato pie is my go-to. For those who don't know, a meat pie in Australia is just what it sounds like. It's like a flaky crust with a bunch of meat inside. <laughs> this is beef. You can get chicken or whatever you want. Generally speaking, I think it's beef, right? Yeah. And Jordan got a sausage roll, which I think, I feel like more countries have sausage rolls. Yeah. It's just a sausage. Yeah. It's funny that Americans have, like, pie is always sweet. Yeah, you would think as well. I feel like Americans would love a meat pie. Yeah. And just you don't have it. Ah, oh, it's so good to be home. Gosh, that's a good one. If this tomato sauce packet design is Australian, this should be like our claim to fame. This is the best design ever. You split it, and as soon as you start pushing the sides together, it splits the middle, creates a perfect hole, and then, it pushes the sauces together and it squeezes it out. Genius. That's amazing. Genius. I haven't had a proper, like, homemade sausage roll in, like, two years. Oh, this smells so good. Wow. Good to be home, huh? That is good to be home. I'm not playing this up for the camera. That is incredible.
Okay, two more things to see and then I think we're finishing with the beer. I think so. Next is the War Memorial and then I was zooming in on Google Maps. It looks like there's a cool viewpoint. It's so hot. It's so hot. It is the perfect oh. day in Canberra. I am just loving this city. Having such a good day. Yeah, I have to say, like I know people do camera bashing and like... We've probably done it ourselves. <laughs> it would be like unique to be the people that don't agree and think Canberra's really cool. But genuinely, I think Canberra, like I could live here for sure. A hundred percent. I think what I really like... <laughs> is we're not like big city people like I love visiting New York and like I love visiting cities but I would never live in one but here the city feels like not that big or intimidating and everyone is super duper nice yeah really nice people it's freaking me out a little bit <laughs> like really nice let's go <laughs> It's free entry to the War Memorial, but it is a time ticket. They give you one at the gate, check your bags. Apparently there's a free cloakroom. We have two hours to wander around, but he said if we feel like we need more to just speak to someone and we can have more time. How good is that? Also, everyone's just so unbelievably nice. Was a lot better than expected. It's like part shrine, memorial, archive and museum all rolled into one and is just impeccably done. It's incredibly well done and a small note, all the glass is so clean it looks like there's no glass at all. <laughs> like we both went like there's no way that's open and poked it. Mm. That's how clean it is. That's so not the point. <laughs> they also have, I've never seen like it done this well but they have like full-size dioramas of each of the battles and they're done so well they play like gunshots and like voiceovers over all the speakers and almost instantly you get like a heavy feeling yeah it's like as soon as you walk in it's very somber and just like hits you straight away yeah. and then the wall of remembrance is that what it's called roll of honor just with the poppies all sticking out it's so striking the red against the dark like irony color I'm really super glad we well came. done. Super, super well done. And it's free, so it's a must do in Canberra for yeah. sure. Yeah, worth a trip. But now to try and shake this feeling, I think it's time for a beer. Okay. Not going to look out anymore? That's such a good day in Canberra. I can't believe how good of a day we've had. It's been beautiful weather as well the entire day. We've got really lucky with the weather and I think everything you hear about Canberra is wrong. <laughs> it's a pretty cool place. New slogan, everything you've heard about <laughs> us is wrong. <laughs> Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's true though. It's completely changed my mind. I love it here. I could live here. This is the kind of city that would really work for my personality. Like it's not a big city by any means. Plus all the nature and the lake or whatever it is. I really like it. Everyone's really nice. Now we're going to drop this car back to the airport, catch a flight back to Adelaide and surprise some people. Seagull. Bert, Bert, Bert. Okay. Is this even a requirement of rental cars anymore? We always clean the outside and the inside before we drop it back. I swear the last one we had, they were like, you don't need to do that. I don't know what it's like in Australia. They didn't actually mention it when we picked this car up. 